or just slightly less. And um, then we'll move on to the second half of Act 2. <coughs> so, Dr. Mandra thought it was a heart attack. The fellow at the hospital said that until you get the test back, you can hardly tell the difference. Right, I'll be left. When can we go and see it? Come on, come on. Uh, tomorrow! We'll all go tomorrow. After school. Jesus, Robbie. We were all worried. I know. I'm sorry. My name's Marie, Marie Westcott, and I'm playing DC Isla Rainhunt in the play One for Home by Sheila Quigley. At the start of the play, I'm looking for the person responsible for the murder of Jack Holland. And actually what happens is it takes me on um, another course throughout the play, um, searching for these missing, these missing girls. My name's Rebecca Berry and I'm playing the part of Kerry Lumsden. And my brothers, Robbie and Darren, Darren's the younger one, Robbie's my older brother. Our sister Claire, our younger sister, gets kidnapped and we have absolutely no idea what's happened to her. I'm Michael Whitaker and I'm playing Robbie Lumsden. Um, Robbie's the paternal brother of the Lumsden family, which includes Claire, the uh, younger sister, that's been uh, kidnapped. Um, my character is under the impression at first that maybe she's run off somewhere, maybe with a lad, something like that, and she's she's quite angry. But then, you know, she realizes, okay, it's you know, it's been more than a day now, and she's still not back. We haven't heard from her, so she's just desperate to find her. Really, so she just goes out and she speaks to the police. She speaks to people on the street. She goes out, takes pictures with her to say, you know, have you seen this girl? She feels for these girls their safety, their well-being is incredibly important and it's uppermost to her. I'm Pat Brocklehurst and I play Mavis, who is the mother of D.I. Hunt in this fantastic film that um, we are um, putting onto stage. Uh, the film has been written by Derek um, Lawson, has, as has the the, the stage play, and both have been adapted from the book by Sheila Quigley. Um, I'm really, really enjoying the rehearsal so far. I'm finding the accent a bit of a challenge, but I've um, been sort of getting DVDs with the right accent and learning like little set sentences, so I'm, I'm enjoying the challenge. Um, I'm really fortunate to play this part. As soon as I read it, I knew I wanted to play this woman. She has the same qualities that I have. She's strong. She's feisty, she's very dominant, she's ambitious, and she doesn't suffer falls. I think the play is a brilliant adaptation of the book. I think it really does it justice, and it really captures the essence of the characters and um, what the book is trying to portray. And I was, what's his name? If you mean my husband, you know fine well his name is John. That's the fella. We've only had the one, Mother. Pity it was the wrong one. Yeah, well, let's just leave it for tonight, eh? Whatever, dear. It's a, it's a fantastic story, this. It's, it's a crime thriller, as you know. Um, but it's also got the whole thing of a working class domestic drama about it as well, where, you know, you see a lot of the struggles of modern life. My character, Mavis, um, She's very proud of her daughter because her daughter's done so well to become a DI. But she's also a throwback from the 60s. She likes to wear psychedelic clothes and uh, beads and if she could have piercings everywhere, she would. It's very dark, the play, but it's gripping. There's lots of, lots of action, lots of intrigue, lots of mystery throughout. Um, I think this, this play is absolutely fantastic because it's been written from a fantastic book. The story just leaves you wanting more. And he dragged her out of here onto the deck and I saw the other man put his hand over her mouth whilst the first one, well you know, 